Hello everybody, it's me Alice, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a makeup collection because my like makeup collection and storage has changed a lot and if you have watched some of my old makeup collections um, you would have uh, realised that by now because I bought myself a dressing table and as you can tell this is just, um, it has a mirror on it, it's got like the Alex drawers on it and, and I've also attached my Alex drawers over there. Um, but. I bought this because I did need a lot more storage and I did need some more drawers to store my makeup in because my um, storage was overflowing and I thought that this would be a great idea as I did get rid of my um, desks so I thought that this would fill the space nicely and I love this storage so much and yeah so without further ado let's go on the video. Obviously my desk is from Ikea, everything I bought was separate so the mirror, those two drawers there, this desk and the legs and the drawers were all bought separately um, but it is meant to be a desk however I think it's a really cool dressing table. We also attached my Alex 5 drawers which are just over there onto it and it's so cool, I love it so much. So now I will show you what is actually on my desk. So firstly here I have my um, chair, chair I actually bought from eBay, this was £44 and it's so comfortable as with my um, theme of my room because it is like, like a white kind of cream colour and it's so pretty and it is so good for doing your makeup in on a morning so I love it so much, um, so that's my chair, this side of my um, dressing table I have my makeup sponges and makeup brushes so as you can tell I have a Zoella pot which has got my range of beauty blenders in so I have some like Primark own I've got this gorgeous Real Techniques diamond one which, which is kind of wonky as you can tell and I've just got like some other brands as well and this is so, so cute and I love it so much and I've got lots of my makeup brushes so I've got some Real Techniques I've got um, Spectrum brushes I've got a Revolution ones, I also have some eBay ones as well which are re re really really good brushes and I've also got some peaches and cream brushes as well which I absolutely love and same here I've got some eBay ones, I've got some Real Techniques, I've got, um, where is it, I'll try and find it, my new favourite eyeshadow brush, I, I also have a peaches and cream one again which I, I do have to say peaches and cream makeup brushes are one of the best ones ever, honestly recommend them so much and then over here I have my a Mario Badescu spray. I've also got my brush cleaner for like say if I just need to need to give them a quick clean. I've got my hand sanitizer and I've also got my Revolution um glow spray which I'm actually gonna like shake up and I'm just gonna show you how pretty it is. Look how gorgeous it is. So I think this is a dupe for the iconic London one. Um and I've also got this in like a lighter colour but I would go for the darker one just because it like it gives me like a nicer glow and I love it so much. Then on this side of my dressing table I've got some of my perfumes and body sprays. So I've got my favourite Victoria's Secret Jasmine Noir spray which smells unreal. You definitely need to smell it if you still have it in the shop because it's really nice, I love it. I also have my Zoella a Christmas spray which I haven't really used to be honest just because like I'm not really keen on it but you know I'll still use it. I have my Lancome perfume, I've got two of my Britney Spears perfumes, I've got my classic Ariana Grande one which I'm sure lots of people have, it is lovely and it's almost run out. And I have one of my favourite perfumes ever which I've had for years this is the Ted Baker Poly perfume if you have not smelt this smell it because it smells like really nice it's got kind of like a sweet scent and it is so lovely I love it so much and I've also got my um, Victoria's Secret and um, Pure Seduction um, body moisturizer I haven't actually used this yet but this smells unreal again I love it so much and then I've also got my Shea Love VS spray which is obviously in the old packaging and it's obviously you can tell I've hardly got any of it left but this has just been a classic and I love it so much and then over here I just, I just have some fake flowers in like a little like jar and I've just got a candle which I think I got from New Look and it's just like that like pastel pink and it's so pretty and yeah so that is everything on my drawers actually underneath there I actually have like some jewellery and I also have some packaging from Peaches and Cream. So in this drawer here I've just got like a charcoal face mask, I've got some um, clear 
bonds for your hair which you actually got off eBay. I've got a lot of my baby lips which have actually all kind of moved but like honestly I remember I was probably about 13 I, like, I collected loads of baby lips but I think the only one which I use is this clear one just because it doesn't have like any colour to it. I've also got my simple SOS um what's it called clearing booster for spots i've also got charcoal face mask i've got charcoal um pore strips as you can tell charcoal is a theme because i've got oily skin and charcoal is the only kind of product that actually helped clean my skin a little bit and i've just got like some lip balms i've got a nyx lip balm i've got some eye patches which i I've, i haven't actually used which i'm quite surprised about um and i've just got um, a moisturiser in there. Then in this drawer I just have some eyelashes. So I've got Peaches and Cream, number 8. I've got some Tatty Lashes, TL24. I've got Wispies. And I've, I also have some unbranded eyelashes which are like really nice and I'm actually wearing the Tatty Lashes TL4 right now which are my favourite from Tatty Lashes. I love them so much. So moving on to my face drawer, as you can tell I have got a lot of face products. So firstly I've got my Kat Von D foundation which is like my favourite. I've, I've got the Kat Von D primer, I've got LA Girl foundation, I've got some of the Rimmel foundations, I've got a Maybelline one and then I've just got my loose powder from Evolution. I've, I have a makeup obsession a foundation mixer to make the foundation darker. I've got the Pore Shave Balm, which I'm sure everyone had back in the day, which is a good primer and it still is a good primer. I've got some bronzers, powders. I've got some of the MUA highlighters, which again are like a classic in people's collections. I've got some of the I Heart makeup, um, bl like blushing hearts. I've, I've got four of them. So I've got like the dragons one, the unicorn, and they've got like, two pink and peach ones. And as you can tell over here, I've got some concealer. So I've got the Revolution Pro, which I don't actually like. I'd, I'd hate the formula of it. I actually have some of the NYX concealers as well. I've got some more there. Um, these ones are the old ones, but I actually prefer the new one. Really good. And then, as you can tell, I've got about five of the Revolution concealers. Do not judge me. I love this product so much. It's the best concealer I've ever came across. And some of them are almost run out and I have two which are unopened. So I actually have one of the new releases which is a hydrate one and then the rest are like a defined one. Are they all, these four are in the sh same shade apart from this little small one which is um, C3 which is like used for other people's makeup. Then over here I've just got um, the Honey Queen blusher and I've got the Dandelion blusher and then I've got my shade and light palette. I've got two primers, Makeup Obsession and the Pierre Rene. Then I've also got some fixing sprays. I have all sorts of fixing sprays. I've just got all the Revolution ones behind there. Then I've also got my favourite highlight palette from Urban Decay, which is the Kristen Leanne one, which I got in the Christmas sales. And then just back here, I've just got loads of the Revolution like blush palettes, but I, 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 I've had to tidy this drawer before I filmed and I don't want to make it all messy again, even though it is starting to look a bit of a mess already. But I've just got loads of the blush palettes behind there. And I think that is everything for my first draw. Moving on to my most favourite draw ever, which is the eye draw. Um, as you can tell, I have got a love for glitters and pigments. I just have become obsessed since I started college. I don't know why, it just became my obsession. Um, so as you can tell, I have got a lot of glitters. So I will go through most of them. So I think a lot of these are the Stargazer ones, which I actually bought in a beauty event in glasgow i believe um so i've just got like green like a ready pink gold got purple got blue i've got like an orangey one and i've also got like some bigger glitters which this one is the mehron i think i think that's what it's called it's like a nice pink glitter got some of the nyx ones so i've got like a like a kind of copper color i've got another copper one i've got a silver and i also have um this kind of pearl pigment which is really pretty and i've also got two face glitters there and i've also got just like some chunky glitters and the hair glitters and over here i cannot um tell you how much i absolutely adore peaches and cream eye pigments they are absolutely stunning i haven't used all of them yet um because i actually ordered some the other day and actually arrived a few days ago um, but I, I will go through them all so I've got a, a double denim out of this world, I've got rattlesnake, most wanted, crush, gatsby, ruby, dynamite, um, what's that one called, watermelon and hollywood. I have used most of them and they are absolutely stunning. I honestly could not tell you how much I love them, like honestly obsessed. Um, so yeah, so um, 
peaches and cream also sell eyelashes um makeup brushes and like the eyeshadow primers as well so it is worth having a look and they also sell lip products so it is worth having a look on their website honestly i would happily um be a promoter for them like their products are just a 10 out of 10 so um you, you need to definitely check the website out and order some pigments because trust me you will thank me later honestly like obsessed then over in the messy corner of my drawer this is where i just kind of throw stuff in um like i couldn't really tidy this drawer because to be honest it would just get a mess after the video anyway but i will go through some of like kind of like my faves so obviously i told you about the peaches and cream eye primer i've got the nyx vivid brights i've got the urban decay mascara which is actually really heavy but the packaging is absolutely stunning look at that i think it's called the troublemaker which i think again i bought in the christmas sales and i've also got some of the paint glow chunky glitters which i've not actually used yet um but i i would like to use them very soon so i've got like the green blue pink got gold one as well with, like pink in it and i've also got like the primer to go with it but the two faces are better than better than sex mascara which i use every day i've also got my morphe um what's it called I eyebrow pomade honestly whenever I film my memory just goes flat I've also got the Cubo lash glue which I, I, this is the black one I've also got the white one but I think that's in my um, college bag because you know I have what eyelashes today so I need to bring that in my bag with me but yeah, I've got them in two of them and I do need a new black one because it's pretty run out and then I've just also got some um, I, thought, I, I bought this NYX a roll on shimmer which I've not actually opened or used yet but I can't wait to use that Honestly, I have been treating myself to like so many eye products recently and I haven't had a chance to use them. I don't know why. I think this is because I've been working a lot and I've been at college recently. So, yeah, but I will have to try them out and I will um, give you an update. And then also, my eyeshadow palettes. I have got too many eyeshadow palettes, but I, I will just kind of like go through them. Got my Jeffree Star Androgyny. Got my NYX Ultimate. Got Tarte Tees, which is honestly such a cute palette. Got one of my favourites, Violet Voss palette, which is the Nicole Concilio. Oh my god, look at the packaging. Look, look at the packaging. I'm, I, I think I'm going to have to use this part as a thumbnail. I am back again. Um, I, I took a photo from a thumbnail, so hopefully it'll be in the thumbnail. But look how pretty the packaging is. And I'm just going to just have to show you the colours. Look at that palette. Like it, it, it kind of has like a range of colours, kind of. It's got like blues, it's got like oranges, browns, golds. It's a really pretty palette. I recommend Violet Voss. 10 out of 10 again. And then I've also got back here. Oh, I have got a lot of palettes. I've got two faced ones. I've got the soft palette. I've got some uh, magnetic palette eyeshadows in there. Got two more Morphe palettes 35O and the 35M Boss Mood. God, can't do anything here. And then just around there, I've just got some makeup obsession eyeshadows i've got a nyx one i've got my anastasia modern renaissance i've got my new chewed palette from the balm and i've just got some revolution once again i did just sort out this drawer before i filmed because i was actually ashamed of myself for letting this drawer get a mess and yeah as you can tell i've I kind of spilled some pigments there um sorry about that i need to cover that back up because it's quite embarrassing isn't it let's just put that back but yeah um this is probably my favorite drawer just because of the pigments and that eyeshadow palette over there which is the best ever um but yeah i think it's my favorite drawer next is my lipstick drawer this drawer is very empty compared to my other ones however i'm not type of person who like can you use this like the same lipsticks over again and i don't tend to buy lipsticks i usually buy eye glitters as you can tell and eyeshadow palettes but i think i am gonna start splurging a bit more on lipsticks because li li lipsticks are like underrated you know what i mean but anyway so in this corner of my drawer i'm gonna try and move it down got a lot of um what are they called honestly my mind's gone blank in this video i've got a lot of um lip liners so i've got some revlon i've got maybelline got a lot of revolution got primark honestly primark ones are probably my favorite lip liners it's just so good and they're like i think they're like a pound each so definitely head on over there then i've got some mayo um five points lipsticks like which i have to use on a brush really good i've got some of peaches and cream how how did you know peaches and cream would come in the my lip drawer i've got three of them and they do look really similar like 
um, colour wise in the packaging however they all they all I can't speak they all are really different so I've got honey fudge and suede and they're honestly stunning I've also got my Anastasia liquid lipstick got my NYX laundry razor over there because you know this girl has been obsessed with NYX laundry razors since she was like 15 um honestly can't talk about them enough they're honestly the best liquid lipsticks to ever go for definitely recommend 11 out of 10 for that one and then i've also got some revolution lipsticks i've got this absolutely gorgeous violet Foss lip gloss which is like sparkly pink wait a minute i'm gonna try and focus it a bit and if it'll focus but it is stunning it's like a sparkly pink it's got glitter in it and this actually came with my um, Violet Foss eyeshadow palette so as you can tell this is going to be absolutely stunning over lipsticks honestly love it so much but anyway I've got a lot of the Too Faced Melted lipsticks which I never use just because I feel like they don't work on my lips but the packaging is just so nice I want to keep them because it's the so pretty do you know what I mean I've also got two of the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother I've also got um, a Revolution Pro liquid lipstick which I'm not really a fan of to be honest it's very very dry and don't recommend it I've also got two of the, what are these, I've got Positin and Benutin, I've never really used these to be honest, I don't recommend them either, um, it's not that good for, in my opinion. And then over here, I don't know if you can see, I've got a lot of lipsticks, I'm just going to move them forward. So I've got two MAC lipsticks, I've got Men Love Mystery and Velvet Teddy, you know, I've got a purple and a nude, and I've just got some of the MUA lipsticks, I've got a red and a pink. I've also got my Anastasia lipstick and a Morphe lipstick. Honestly, Morphe lipsticks are so underrated. If you have ever tried, well, if you have ever tried one, you'll know what I mean. Like, they're so good, they're absolutely stunning. I've also got three Primark lipsticks again, which I, I would probably say they're underrated again. They're really good. And the cheapest for the MAC lipsticks, however, they are a little bit more drier than the MAC lipsticks, but still really good. I've also got a classic Revlon lipstick, which I've had for, like, years. I probably should check it out because it has gone a bit crusty which is kind of disgusting but you know I, I still have it in my drawers and I've just got two Nick, uh, I've got two NYX turned up lipsticks which are really good love the colours but this fourth drawer I will say isn't is quite boring to be honest I'm, I'll probably just, just talk about it for a minute so I've got some beat beauty blenders which I actually bought for four well they were under four pounds for two of them in Superdrug really good got Primark beauty blenders and my faves I've just got like some disposables for when I do people's makeup because you know hygiene you need to have disposable mascara ones and lip ones I've got um a, a lip liner and eyeliner sharpener I, I also have um a mixing but like plate ball thing which is really good for mixing eyeshadows and like foundations and stuff and um, so yeah that's kind of what's in that drawer it's very very boring so I thought I'd just quickly go around that like my skincare drawer kind of like makeup remover fake tan so I'll, I will just quickly go through it so here I've got two fake tans I haven't actually used this one yet but this is just a sun kissed one in medium it's just a self tan mousse I, I think I bought this from home bargains for like two pounds really good price I'm hoping it works on my skin and I've also got um what's this one this is called the St Morris uh, medium tan as well but this one I don't like I don't know but I think the, the best fa uh, foundation the best fake tan I've used is definitely the Bondi sands because it doesn't smell a fake tan it smells of coconut so I, I do recommend that one but but at the time I was broke so I didn't need to get cheap fake tan so I got that one anyway I've got, I've got some um, Primark makeup wipes which are really good for wiping off your makeup. I've got charcoal ones, I've got my big bottle of Garnier micellar cleansing water, two packs of compads and I've just got some roll on deodorants because you know I want to smell nice. So guys, um, this is the end of my video. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, I know that this is probably like my fifth or sixth makeup collection on my channel but this is my favourite video to film just because as you can tell I do love my makeup and makeup is my hobby and will hopefully become my career in the future I'm hoping. Um, so I hope that you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye